Am I about to make a rant on a non-existent issue? Yes. Am I about to make a rant based on a fictional cartoon show for kids? Absolutely. Hi, my name is RageGTV, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, Hilda Season 2. It's good, obviously. No, it's not just good. It was well worth the two year wait. Hilda to me, even before season two had came out, always stood out to me as being legendary. From a memorable cast of characters, the unique art style, and the colors that make Hilda what it is, and of course, Jehanna, because of a certain Avengers shill said so. Hilda's second season is everything you would ever need out of a second season of a excellent show like this. But there were some problems I had with it. One of them specifically I want to talk about in this video with some of the fan favorite characters not returning. Me and other Hilda fans like myself have had this complaint ever since season 2 first came out. Now don't get me wrong, there were a lot of characters that made a return in the second season. The Woodman, Kaiza, Tantu, and even characters that we would have never expected to come back that ended up being a major part of the story, such as Matilda, oh, of course, Trevor as well. I landed it right in the Bro! But there were three particular characters that were left out that are still considered to be fan favorites. Jelly Bean, the Mara, and of course, the Raven. As for Jelly Bean and his sidekick, uh, I can pretty much understand that since the end of season 1 ends on them near Hill's home and going off on their own paths from there, so it could just very be that they're in a faraway place because of that. And for the Mara, I was honestly surprised that they didn't appear again, and it hasn't been clear on why they hadn't. Despite them being one of the more powerful and scary in the Hilda universe, powers that mostly represent their Scandinavian folklore counterpart, They've become one of the most liked characters in the show and become a fan favorite at that. Why? Simple. At the end of the day, they're teenagers. They still have to go through the troubles of being a teen such as living with their parents or making sure they look good or doing teenager stuff like watch TV all day, going to school even. Does Trollberg even have a Trollberg High School? It's gonna take some time. I don't know what teen girls are actually like. But for the most part, they're liked because they have their own unique personalities. And they do a lot of things most teens would have to do or would like to do. And yeah... I just think it would have been cool if we gotten to see them at least as a background character, but... They were completely absent from season 2. But there was one character that I think everyone like myself was devastated by their disappearance. Boop boop boop. The Great Ravon. Now, the Raven has become a fan favorite character for a long time in the Hilda community. Because to me at least, he's one of the funniest and most quirky characters in the show. He had to regain his memory after Trevor decided to throw a freaking rock at him and thus risking Trollberg going to 2020 Black Lives no Matter rides mode. His personality feels ironic yet genuine enough to like. And overall he is such a unique character that if he was included in the second season for like a small cameo, he could have very easily carried the entire season. It's also important to note that there was actually a deleted scene that was meant to be in the Troll Circle episode where we could see the Raven make a small cameo in the blimp that we see in the actual episode. This scene is only about 54 seconds long and I thought it was pretty good. According to Andy Cole, director of Hilda, this scene in particular was cut because it was ultimately not moving the story forward, and if we're just talking about this scene and assuming that they couldn't get any sort of ideas to put the Raven in a brand new story, then yeah, I guess that's cool with me. The Raven even says this in that scene. You think I'm only famous in Trollberg? See you at the next parade, Hilda! Andy Cole also goes on to say that, at the end of the day, it's a great big world out there, and the Raven's got places to go, things to do. He's an ancient magical shape-shifting super-powered bird, with a rich life outside of interacting with a certain blue-haired adventurer kid. And while I think this sort of statement is a good reason why he didn't make it in that scene, there are some problems that contradict this. For example, if the Raven has got places to go, then why, let's say in Season 1's The Storm, did he go directly to Hilda's home for warmth? Because of a storm that was largely taking place only in Trollberg? Surely he wouldn't have been bothered by the storm if he had places to go to begin with, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and maybe say he was just revisiting Trollberg after a while and coincidentally got mixed into a bad winter storm suddenly and only had Hilda around to help him and decided to stood around a little more so they can try and find Hilda for a while, right? Well, 
that does make sense. Except, at the end of Season 1, we literally got to see the raven fly past us just as the credits roll, and this was near Hilda's original home. Which isn't very far off from Trollberg. But okay, maybe he was already going from somewhere that wasn't Trollberg, and that he just so happened to pass by Hilda's home. Maybe that's the case. But, there's one more thing I would like to share. Alright, get out a copy of the Stone Horse. Go to a couple pages here, and... He's... He's literally right there. How the fuck do you explain that? The very moment that the raven does appear, and a moment where he could have stole the light from the entire episode, and what did they do with it? Well, you know, just replace him with a white-colored wolf, that's it. Honestly, I was pretty disappointed by this. And sure, it is good to introduce some new characters and make them, like, super unique in something, but this ain't it, Chief. Based on the tie-in Stephen Davis book and the previous mentions and appearances of it that were shown prior, I was really expecting it to affect the story somehow in a major way and make it a unique variation of the usual wolves that we see. But nah, it's literally just a wolf that is white. And honestly, it's kind of disappointing. Like, it feels like the only reason as to why the white wolf had even existed was just to replace Raven in the final minutes of the episode. If you're going to replace someone as loved as Raven in favor for this character, at least do something special with them or make them so that they have a unique reason to be there. And the white wolf just isn't that. Literally, all it feels like is just, whoa, it's white, cool, and nothing else. And I honestly don't really like that at all. Why, Silvergate? Why? Why won't you just admit you don't like the Raven? Even in a scene where he had very clearly made an appearance, you still decided to go out of your way to go into MS Paint, slap a coat of paint, and called it a day. Why do you have to go out of your way to cut the Raven out of one scene, and then another? He was literally in your graphic novel, you stupid freaking bitch! I am getting upset over something that really shouldn't matter at all, because at the end of the day, Hilda is Hilda, and I'm very happy with it regardless if the raven is there or not. You know what does matter though? Hitting the like button on this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Who knows, maybe after this video blows up or something we could possibly could see him in the third season. Comment down what your thoughts are below, do you think he deserved to be in season 2 or if he shouldn't, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.